Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Memorial Closet. I'd like to ask her name and age, I wonder if she'd mind. I'm a fellow FNL fan after all. Uh, what's the big deal? Did she misinterpret what I said? I'm just trying to be friendly by talking about things we have in common, but now I feel a little guilty. To be honest, it's not like I'm a huge fan of the show. I just happened to catch this morning's episode because my little sister was watching it. Hey, come on now. No need to bow and scrape like that. Jeez. Does this girl have any clue where she is right now? Jesus. Right. After awkwardly stammering that out, she falls silent and turns her back to me. I'm a bit disappointed, I admit, but we're both just here to buy a kid's toy at the end of the day. I should get back in line too. It's kind of hard to ignore her now though. She's kind of staring at me. You know... The whole time. My eyes are unconsciously drawn to her long black hair and her lithe, shapely legs. Oh, come on, why, why, why is it back here? And to think there beneath her skirt are those extraordinary anime print panties. I think they may have been my first real life panty shot. I'm going to have some sweet dreams tonight. Ahem. Anyway, her posture is flawless. She carries herself so gracefully. It's like she's from another dimension. And I never would have gotten to talk to her if it hadn't been for that incident. Hmm, is it just my imagination or... <laughs> Has she been sneaking glances at me? I think I recognize that look. That, that look? The, the sad look? It's the same look my sister gives me when she's desperate to say something. In which case... Um... <laughs> You're really into F and now, aren't you? She seems at a complete loss for words. Initially, at least, she then gives me a firm nod. Smiling, that's the key to human interaction. Well, I mean, what kind of smile? The, the nice, genuine smile or like the creepy smile? That's what mom always told me and she was obviously right. One smile from this girl and I feel like I could talk for hours. We end up chatting about F and L without pause until the store opens. Wait, what? I thought the store was already open. That was such a fast intermission. <laughs> I flopped down my bed the second I arrived home half an hour later and I'm still tingling with excitement. Reason? My amazing new purchase, of course. Just seeing the limited edition sticker on the package gets me all worked up. I almost got myself into serious trouble, but then that nice guy stepped in to help and everything turned out fine. I... Oh. I thought... Okay, never mind. My... I thought I, I, I thought, <laughs> I thought in the beginning that I, I don't know, I got confuzzled, like, like <laughs> never mind, I got super confuzzled. It had me pretty panicked for a moment, but I couldn't just stand by and let those awful people get their way. That guy, like, uh, like, that beaver teeth right there, and that, that girl's face over there, though, that she's, it's like a doll, like one of those, uh, Russian, uh, doll collection thing. So I guess I just launched into this whole anime heroine act, mostly because I had been watching F and L earlier. It's kind of embarrassing, but I don't regret it. I do admit I could have handled it better. Besides, it led to a really pleasant encounter. I actually got to talk about F and L with someone my own age. At least I think he was. And even though it was a guy, I was lonely, a little nervous, and only to begin with. Once we got talking, time just flew by. The store had opened before I'd realized it. Dragon 
There are some that's fangirl out on social media and stuff, but it's totally different when you can see who you're talking to. This might sound like an exaggeration, but it really makes you feel alive. I'm not quite sure what it is. There was so much that he told me that I didn't know at all. And nothing I blurred out in the course of our conversation was being recorded in a chat or anything. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a relief, you know. It's not recorded anywhere else. But most of all, I met a fellow FNL fan in the flesh. What a buzz. <sighs> Okay, so do you know what I was confused about? I was confused because I thought she was the one talking to herself in the store, and then she, and then it was a different, but it was a different girl, and then so I thought it was a girl that was talking to the to herself. So I was like, wait, it's a guy? I'm, I and then I got so confused. But anyways, can't believe I wound up chattering away about my hobbies in public like that. Everyone must have thought I was a total weirdo. Oh. But it really was a lot of fun. It's got me pretty worked up in fact. Uh oh. Hmm, this buzz isn't going away. If anything, it sparked a deeper kind of excitement. Oh boy. What kind of makes sense? Like the, the, the playing the video game the excitement? I happen to be home alone right now to play video games. I made sure the door was locked just in case. Play video games. But to be t this turned on and why? Because of FNL? Because I got so excited just talking to someone? <laughs> just hurry up and go play your video game then. The moment those words slip off my tongue, I've made my decision. Uh, playing video games? In an attempt to sell my guilty conscience, I... Place my purchase from this morning out of sight. That's the whole story. Yeah, see, I thought I thought, I thought Reiji was talking to herself or, or talking to a girl, and I thought that was me. <laughs> so I got so confused. Aww. Here. It's recess. The girl who sits in front of me hands me a manga volume, and I pass her the next one. Her interest in my adventure seems limited, to say the least. Whoa, spoiler alert! I'm glad you like it, but you're the one who asked me what happened the other day. Can't you at least pretend to listen? Oh no, it's... Hmm... Damn it, that's not how it went at all. This is... Takahogi Satsuki. Oh... Is she, is she your... childhood friend? She's a bit of a troublemaker, as you can probably tell. Every class has one. She often rolls into a... Rose into school late and she always looks really sleepy in the morning. Maybe it's low blood pressure. Especially bad on Monday. She usually skips first period altogether. Isn't first period usually homeroom though? Does that really count? Today she arrived right at the end of our second period. She turned to me and said, And that was her entrance. I guess it's partly my fault though, I started regaling her with a breathless account of my weekend directly after passing her the manga she wanted. That was a weekend? I, I thought it was in the same day! This is going too fast for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Man! He's just kink shaming it already. Wow. What? I don't remember there being any scenes like that. Oh, oh, she's talking about the book. Wait. No, she's talking about me. What's she talking about? I'm, I got so lost already. Huh? I crane my neck to take a look, and Sakahogi san turns the book towards me, slipping off the dust jacket. You reveal a picture of a magical girl. It's all covered in some kind of... So, are they eating sushi? Ah? 
あんたまた間違ったね<笑> Oh man, I gave the other one my sister.、Uh, that's fine then, right? Because it's not this one. Well, definitely get you out of bed then, you know? You know, all that blood pressure. Oh,、wow, it's not that funny. Oh, I can't believe I messed up again. Oh. They tend to get jumbled up together with the normal ones when I switch out the dust jackets. Oh, I see what. I see what's happening here. Shame on you, Reggie. Shame on you. Thanks for that incident, Saka, h o g i s a n and I have opened up to each other quite a bit, especially when it comes to dirty jokes. I'm not really sure if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> Don't be dumb, come on, give it back. The what? You pretty much finished it. The uh. The uh. C. C. U. M. C. Um. Bucket scene involves the princess being made to drink a. Oh my gosh, after. Oh, ew.、Mm. It's a real classic of the genre. Oh, uh, that's. Uh, ooh.、Uh. Maybe it, it is a little early in the morning for stuff like that. Oh well, I think I'll have a reread of it tonight. Well, you know, girl, girl got excited playing video games and now there's、uh, some、uh, white liquid bucket,、uh, apparently, that's supposed to be reread tonight. Oh. Anyways,、uh, woo! Hope you guys、uh, enjoyed this episode of Memorial Closet. Oh boy. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please smash that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos by punching that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the little bell to get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!